Transmitting from the beating heart of Las Vegas, it's a dry heat. This is City of Writers Radio, a weekly podcast celebrating the oral delivery of the written word. Now here's your host, Gillian Pacheco of Writeropolis Industries. Let's get to it. Happy one year anniversary to Rat Contus Radio. You didn't really think I was going to let this milestone go by, did you? So today I'm going to share with you a series of poems inspired by a short story that I wrote called Requiem for a Fallout Shelter. You'll find it on my website at chipacheco.org and I'll plop it into the show notes as well for this episode. closed in. I chose this space. I chose this time. I chose this movement. I chose this shape. I prefer the solitude, but do I deserve it? Lost youth. He left me, all alone, to fend for myself. Do you know how that feels? In confusion, I kept my lips sealed, and the world turns. How I Learned to Love the Bomb Rumors and hearsay, the story that never dies. Almonds and applesauce, the smells that never lie. Faith in death. Faith in life, faith in humanity, it's all the same. Overwhelmed, I share the same air as she. I sit in the same chair as she. I bleed the same metallic taste of blood as she. Yet I don't know who she is. She'll always be a mystery to me. Let's renew our hearts, minds, and spirits this week. You can build or reconnect with a reading habit with silent book clubs. Get your writing spirit back by reading for an hour a week with old friends and total strangers. Interested in connecting with other book lovers? We're right here, waiting for you. RSVP to our next meeting at writeropolis.com forward slash link in bio, all one word. See you soon. I left my heart in Mountain Valley. I went through the motions. I danced the peasant dance when I was meant for the solo as the king. I sang the song of the quail when I was blessed with the pipes of the nightingale. I spoke the word of the layman when I was destined to speak the words of the demagogue. I left my quiet farming town for the bright lights of another city. I said luck be a lady tonight, but I came back because of fate, as the king, the nightingale, the demagogue. I slipped down the slope into the curse that shrouds my farming town. I fought against the will and found myself unbecoming. I'm frozen to this place, a tree root that won't die. I'm the peasant again, the quail again the layman again. Desperate. They say it's human nature. How can belief in a fairy tale be human nature? I've become so cynical that I only trust the tangible. Maybe it's time to let go. Misfocusing, safe with me. It's so easy, it's so easy. I've got to stop the world misfocusing on me. What have I got to lose? Shall I step up with my heart so bruised? You'll be safe with me. Requiem's Lament. She holds the world at bay, but she's like a lump of clay. 
waiting to be molded. She doesn't have the will to cry, but she'll be the first to lie because of past heartache. She takes her baby steps and I'm right there beside her. The Daily Grind, the news, it's all so boring. But the writer in you wants to roam the world, tell tales, and write poems. Here at Writeropolis Industries, we're all about honesty. It takes a tinge of guidance to tell a damn good story. Find out how to be the best writer you can be in our Bell Letter newsletter on Friday. Sign up at writeropolis.com forward slash link in bio, all one word. Get instant access to the repository for relevant resources to rejuvenate your creative journey. Storm. Alone, are you? So am I. Crying, you are? Me too. Sheltered from the storm? So am I. Afraid of the storm? Me too. Secondary plot. In the back seat of my mind, all I can think about is love. Will I be a star? Will I be happy? Will I have someone to give my heart to? I walk past him every day as I go through the paces. She says hello and fetches me fresh cups of coffee without asking. I'm frigid in my bed since the one left. So I guess I should take the plunge. I guess I should fall in love. It's never too late. Sick. Maybe my mother didn't hug me enough. Maybe my invisible friends didn't want to play with me. But I like to mentally torture people. I like to keep them wondering of my true motives. They are my puppets, and I play their strings. Maybe I should have been nicer to my primary school teachers. Maybe I shouldn't have opened the fire extinguisher in the library. Maybe I should have been more active in sports. Maybe I shouldn't have to explain myself. I'm sick. I admit it. Hey you guys, it's me Gillian, the host of City of Writers Radio. You can't be a devoted listener of this podcast without being a reader yourself. Why don't you support indie bookstores by purchasing your next books from bookshop.org? Supporting indie bookstores is a deeply abiding passion of mine. If you haven't thought about where your money goes when purchasing a book, I hope you'll consider purchasing through my bookshop soon. Go to writeropolis.com forward slash link in bio, all one word, for a direct link. I appreciate your support. Thanks for joining us this week on the City of Writers Radio podcast with your host, Gillian Pacheco. Make sure to visit our website at writeropolis.com forward slash podcast, where you can subscribe to the show in Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, or your favorite podcatcher so that you'll never miss a show. While you're at it, if you found value in City of Writers Radio, like, subscribe, and share with your friends. Check out Writeropolis Industries for all your writing and editing needs. Be sure to tune in next week for another generous helping of creativity to nourish your soul. Until then, love, peace, and adobo grease.